We have here a delegation from the Geneva-based uh, Global Unions and we've just had an exchange with the, uh, the ambassador of Mexico here at the, uh, the mission, uh, the Mexican mission here in uh, Geneva. The people that we met were, of, uh, were senior in status. We had the uh, Deputy Minister of Labour from, uh, from the Ministry. We also had the head of international affairs uh, at the uh, Ministry of Labour in uh, Mexico. And we had a very, what I would call, robust and frank discussion. We told them that the, uh, that the hope that the Mexican administration has to reduce poverty and to put the accent on human development would never happen uh, given the two pillars upon which labour relations are based. That is an unfair labour law and secondly, the corruption that we see with respect to uh, protection contracts. Uh, we, we therefore spend a lot of time trying to get some understanding about what they would do with respect to protection contracts. And the important thing was that they recognize that this is a problem. They recognize that this is a problem that has to be dealt with. What was less reassuring is that they think the labor law that they have enacted will help them do this. We are not convinced. Yes. And um, they are committed to further dialogue, which we uh, also told them we are committed to. And we hope that the new labor attaché that was presented to us uh, will allow us to continue that dialogue in the months to come uh, to really uh, make sure that changes are going to happen and that next year there is no need for us to have uh, these actions and this, these meetings again. Vivemos una discusión uh, con una delegación muy alta, eh, incluyendo uh, viceministerio del trabajo, uh, el pasado, eh, la gente que es responsable eh, eh, de los aspectos laborales. Entonces, particularmente, la discusión uh, uh, tenía una dimensión sobre los contratos de protección, particularmente los recuentos para, la, uh, uh, para el reconocimiento uh, de los sindicatos uh, en el movimiento democrático e independiente en México. Finalmente, ellos decían que eh, la nueva ley eh, tiene una posición para mejorar la situación en lo que se refiere a los sindicatos en México, pero tenemos una posición uh, que critica uh, la situación uh, de hoy. Eh, finalmente, vamos a continuar uh, uh, a luchar para los derechos fundamentales eh, en México.